So we're starting this episode off with killing some Desert Treasure 2 bosses to see if I can get lucky and maybe get spoon fed a pet early on. I ended up getting a scarred tablet on my fifth kill here at Leviathan. Each of the new bosses drop their own tablet which can be added to the Ring of Shadows, and the tablet basically allows you to teleport to each boss for free. After you add the tablet piece to the ring, you'll have to charge the ring with 1k bloods, laws, deaths, and soul runes. So now that the ring is charged up and the scarred tablet is added into the ring, I should be able to teleport near the entrance of the Leviathan. I ended up getting my first ever Awakener's Orb from Duke, and the orb makes it so you can fight a harder version of each of the bosses if you want to, and it also gives you a slight chance increase towards getting certain items that the bosses drop. As I mentioned earlier, I've been on the pet grind for the new bosses. Out of the four new bosses, the Whisperer pet is probably my favorite one, as it can do emotes unlike any of the pets that I've seen in the game. I didn't know this boss could drop 7 D-Legs like that. Oh, what the hell? They aren't noted? 500k in battle staffs? I'll take it. So what's weird about each of these new bosses is that you can get some really bad loot from them. I'm talking about like 16 noted bronze longswords from them. Yo, there's another Awakener's Orb. Yes! I got the Serenic Tablet. Now I don't have to walk my ass down here anymore. So I can just use this tablet on the ring as well, and I should be able to teleport to the Whisperer now. I also don't have to charge up the ring again, so that's pretty nice. Along with grinding out the new bosses, I also knocked out 91 ring crafting and 91 mining. I also been knocking out a lot of combat achievements lately so that I can get the elite tier rewards from Gommel. I think right now I'm like 450 points away from the elite tier, so I still have a long ways to go. And right here I got a 2 for achievement and green log the Thermi achieves. If you're looking for some easy combat achievements, just go kill some Serachinus. I really wasn't even trying to do these achievements, I was actually hunting for the pet, and I ended up getting a bunch of these combat achievements completed just by killing the boss. A few of my buddies asked me if I wanted to tag along for a Saragawa's trip, and I couldn't say no because I've been hunting this pet for a couple years now, and we usually make some good money every time we go here. This is also my favorite boss to kill in God Wars. God Sword Shard 2, baby! Look at you! God Sword Shard 3. It's dead. Yeah. I just hit like solid constantly there. Uncut Emerald. Oof, dude. And pet. A pet would be sick. I actually never seen one dropped here before. The pet is like 1 out of 5,000, I believe. Hey! There it is. Get a Sarah Sword. Since we only got a few God Sword shards and a Sarah Sword during our first Sarah trip, we decided to run it back again the very next night. ACB, baby! There it is. Saradoman's Light? Okay. On our last kill during this trip, we all decided to smite the boss in hopes to get a drop. What we found out is that when we're not using protection prayers against the boss, we actually kill her faster. Look how fast we smoked her with smite up. I wish all of our Sarah kills could be this fast. The ACB ended up selling for 46 mil, and each split was almost 16 mil each. Not bad. I ended up getting Hellhounds as a Slayer task from Chaldar, so I decided to go kill Cerberus for this task in the hopes that I would get the Hell Puppy pet. I've always felt like this boss never drops anything good for me, and I've only seen one unique drop from the boss so far in over 1200 kills, and it happened to be the Pagasian Crystal for the Ranger Boots, which is only like 100k. Ranger Boots. Ranger 
Another uncut emerald. Why the hell do I keep getting these? So I wanted to try out Nexus up here, but I still needed to get two frozen key pieces from the bosses. I needed one from Arma and one from Zami. And that's the frozen key piece from Arma. My friend Susan was nice enough to help me with each of the boss kills that I needed so that I could finish my key. And now we're going in to kill Zami for this key piece as well. Along with getting the Zami key piece that I was missing, I ended up getting another combat achievement. We decided to stay for another kill so that I can get another combat achievement by killing Zami's minions first before killing him. Nice, I think that's it. Yeah, I got it. That should be, I don't know what it's called. Some weird bullshit. Now that I have all the four key pieces, I should just be able to combine them into one key. And there we go, the frozen key. I decided to try out Nex in the Mass World first, as I have never killed this boss before. The Mass World makes this boss pretty easy to kill, and everyone that does damage to the boss will end up getting their own split when the boss finally dies. I can really see how difficult this boss would be to kill as a peer within a smaller team. The boss's HP doesn't scale with the group size, so it'll always have 3400 HP when you're going to kill it. I'd have to do some testing to know what gear would be best to use and what group size would be best to kill Nexus up here. With my first kill ever here, I ended up completing 5 different Nex combat achievements at once, which gave me a total of 23 points towards my elite combat achievement. We decided to stay in the mass world and keep farming Nex until I felt comfortable enough knowing all the mechanics of the boss. I was still learning what to pray against and when to pray, along with avoiding the cough and running from the boss if she decided to target me. I got a nil shard. Me too. With um, all my stuff in there. What does the nil shard do? I actually don't know. You need it to make the bow. Oh, okay. Oh, can we stay? We got shard. Yeah, we can stay. I also got another combat achievement for 10 kills. Oh, wow. I just got another one for 25 kills. I decided to do some Slayer tasks down in Karen so that I could get some totem pieces for Skatizo. Skatizo is another boss that drops a pet that I've been hunting for a really long time now. Hey, I just got the Dark Totem Top. Now I'm on my way to get a new task from Cheldar, and hopefully I'll get another task that I can do in Karen for some more totem pieces. Nice, now we got a piece towards another totem. I'm glad this Superior Blood Belt spawned because that's another totem piece I'm gonna get. I feel like every superior that I've ever killed down here in Karend, I've always gotten a totem piece from them. And there we go, that's piece number two. If you ever get a Bloodsville task, you should try using a Venator bow and thralls to kill them. It is insane how fast you can kill these things. I've probably been down here like 15 minutes and I've already killed over 120 of them. I wasn't having any luck getting the last totem piece that I needed on this Dust Devil task until this superior Choke Devil spawned. There we go, that's the last piece I needed for totem number two. Second totem created, now let's get the pet. Alright, this kill will be my 65th kill on Skatizo. For those that don't know, the pet drop chance from Skatizo is 1 out of 65, so hopefully I'll get the pet. You know, the worst part about killing this boss with 60 attack is the fact that you can't use an arc light to one hit these eyes, so instead I have to beat them down with a blowpipe. Oh, would you look at that, he spawned the goof troop on me. Let me just barrage these guys real quick. Uh, did I just get nothing? Oh, never mind, I just got blood runes. Here we go again. I also brought some chinchampas this time to knock out another combat achievement. Gotta kill the eyes again. I'm pretty sure he just spawned the goof troop on me again. Ah, uh, yep, there they are. This time I'm gonna line them up and freeze them behind each other.
chuck in these chinchampas now so that I can get this combat achievement that I'm missing. And there we go, 66 KC, and I got the combat achievement that I was missing. Still no pet it looks like, but what did I get for loot? Are you kidding me? I got another Dark Claw and that's my third one. One day I'm going to get the pet instead of the Dark Claws, and when I finally get that pet, I'm going to be elking every single one of these.